important is x. In any good course, it's important to sort of know where you are and what you're going to be doing and where you're starting and where you're going and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to give you a sort of a brief overview of what this course studies. In general, what we're going to be looking at is, well, obviously statics, but statics is one of the branches of mechanics. Mechanics like Newtonian mechanics, like the study of the objects in the universe. And that can be from the tiniest little thing to the biggest little thing. We're, we're studying how forces and moments and loads and stuff interact. So as a sort of a, where are we today? You can break mechanics up in a couple different ways. Um, I like to think of it as excluding fluids, as being broken up into statics, dynamics, and solid mechanics, or sometimes I'll just call that solid, some people call it strength of materials. Again, this, this is not, a, everybody does it this way. Some people will say statics and dynamics, solids, and fluids. But in any event, what you've got are sort of these basic pieces. Dynamics is the part of mechanics that studies acceleration and how things behave when they're actually accelerating. Strength of materials studies how things deform, so that your beams in strength of materials will actually bend. In statics, it's, it's exclusion. It's the law of exclusion. We are not studying fluids. We are not studying stuff that accelerates. We are not studying stuff that deforms. Stuff that neither accelerates nor deforms. That's what statics is. And that stuff can be a block of wood, a car, a universe, whatever it is that's in equilibrium. Our stuff will be broken down into three general groupings. Particles, which we will do before the first exam. Rigid bodies, which we will do before the second and stay with until the third exam. And systems of things, which we will tackle only for the final exam. So this, this is the stuff. The, stuff's a highly technical term, but it's what we're going to be actually studying. We want to study the loads that act on it. And this may be a new word to you. You may be only familiar with the notion of a force. We will also deal with moments. Forces are things that tend to make stuff move linearly or accelerate linearly. Moments are loads that tend to make stuff rotate. So if you have a coffee cup and it tips over, there's been a moment applied to that coffee cup. All of these things we will study the equilibrium of. So how do the loads interact with the stuff for objects that are in equilibrium? Which brings us to Newton's laws. Newton has, a, again, people will par parcel these into different categories. This is how I think of it. The first law is that an object in motion stays in motion unless it's acted upon by an unknown load. An object at rest stays in rest unless it's acted upon by an unknown load. You will see, you probably, some of you will have learned this with the word force here. We're extending this now to include also moments. So that's our first law of Newton. The second one is generally given to you as F equals MA. Sometimes you'll see this, the Newton's Law of Gravitation. This is a special case of that. What we're going to use is primarily weight is mass times gravity. That's, that's basically what we're going to use because we're not really considering, considering other accelerations. The only acceleration we'll have in this class is, is gravity. And the third law says that if, if your stuff is in equilibrium, then the sum of the loads that act upon that thing need to be actually equal to zero. So that's what we're pretty much going to be doing for the rest of the semester. Summing the forces, summing the moments, setting them equal to zero. That's where we're at. We'll also use the same law when we get to the very end and we're dealing with systems. And then we're going to be talking about e putting equal and opposite loads every time we consider what one thing is doing to another thing. So that's sort of your top level overview of what this semester is actually studying. We'll come back to these concepts over and over and over again over the semester so that you can get your roadmap of where we are in the semester and what we're actually working toward. Thanks.